Hey guys, what's up and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming the next episode in my little orthodontics journey series that I've been having. You guys have been seeming to love my progress and seeing what my journey has been, so I'm just going to keep going with it. Without further ado, let's get on to the good stuff. So for those of you who don't know, I'm about two and a half years through my orthodontics journey. Here's a recap of what I've all had to do to my teeth. First, I had just top braces on, then I got my Herbst appliance on, and then after like eight months, six to eight months, I got my top braces on when my Herbst appliance was still on. After 11 months, I got my herbs taken off and then my top braces put back on. Then a month or two after that, I got my bottom braces on as well. And that's where we are now. Here's a little close up of what my teeth look like. So I go to Dubuque Orthodontics in Dubuque, Iowa. And right now my appointments are approximately three weeks apart. Right now we're just working on closing the gaps in my top teeth. They're pretty much all the way closed. I literally have like a couple millimeters probably left to close them. They're also tightening my whole top row to pull it all together. And then I also am having to wear rubber bands on both sides of my mouth at night to uh, start aligning my teeth. Right now, they're not really doing anything to my bottom teeth. Um, they haven't been tightening the wire or changing the little or, or changing my colors like for the past three months because... I think it's because my bottom teeth are pretty much where they're supposed to be. They're straight, they're together, none of them are crooked or wonky, so it's just my top teeth I'm having to worry about. Like I said, I've had braces or been I've had braces and been going going through this journey for about two and a half years now, and the big question right now is when do I think it's gonna be getting off? I personally think that it'll be in like around six months from now because I have to finish closing the gap finish aligning my teeth and then like keep it there for a little bit just to make sure everything's moved in the correct spot and the femur for retainers and then get them off so i'm estimating six months and that's about like seven or eight appointments also throughout this whole series that i've filmed i have not shown you what i use to like brush my teeth and what i do for dental care so i'm gonna do that today so first off twice a day i brush my teeth i use this quip toothbrush it's electric it's kind of dying right now but this is what i use and then for toothpaste, I just use the match. I just use the matching Quisp toothpaste. Then for flossing, when I feel that I need to or when I have the energy to. If you don't know, with braces, you can't just like take floss and go like that. You have to use a special little thing. So this is a floss threader. Sorry if you can't see it; it's really small. But basically, but basically, what you do is you put the floss through this, tie a little knot and then there's your little floss, and then you have to go here. We're gonna like do it in a demonstration. Basically, you take the little floss thing, put it to through the little thing. Oh my God, it's so hard when I don't have an ear in front of you. You put it through, then go in here, and floss like gnarl. Oh, I don't like that feeling. For mouthwash, I use this TheraBreath oral rinse in the flavor sparkle mint and then like i said day and no not day and night just nighttime i have to take rubber bands these are the galapagos giant turtle ones it's just the ones they gave me they're like thicker bands and i have to put them on both sides i'll do a little demo of that too so basically i have to hook it to my eye tooth again this is really hard to do without and then hook it right back here. And then do the same thing on the other side. Just like that. And I go to sleep like this, wake up and take them out. As you guys know, with regular braces, there are some limitations on what you're supposed to be eating. I don't necessarily follow those, but you should. So don't eat any like sticky things, super duper crunchy things that can hurt the wires or the brackets or anything like that popcorn, anything that can get stuck in between, that's what you're not supposed to eat. Like I said, I'm not really the best rule follower when it comes to that. Yeah, that's basically all I have for the video. Uh, like always, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them down below and I will do my best to either answer them in the comments or make another video if there's enough questions to make one. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be back with another video eventually. <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you so much. Subscribe down below and click that thumbs up button. Thank you. Bye.